In this video I wanted to go over the include tag links setting. This is a special setting that will allow your site to have uh, more links to more items on them automatically generated uh, and Google will find them and perhaps index them and uh, get you some more sales. Uh, it has one sub option which would be append the global keyword to the tags. So we're still on the dog site so our, our global keyword is dogs and I'll show you uh, what this does on this post here. We have the uh, post dog bone and the tags for this post are dog and bone. So this related items is what it puts here. Uh, it took each of those words, it took uh, dog and added the word dogs to it because we have the global append and bone and added the words dogs to it and it put those as links to go to another page on your site. Now this page doesn't exist within WordPress, but if they cl click through it or Google follows the link, it will take us to a page which will show items for that keyword. And this is a search page. Uh, that's something I'm going to cover in a minute. So you now have a page that's automatically generated based upon those tags. It's just a way to add pages uh, to the sites and uh, get Google to find more pages that uh, they can uh, index for your site. If you removed the global keyword and just used the tag like bone, who knows what it will bring up. Let's see. For a bone it might actually not be bad. Yeah, see for a dog site that's not bad. Um, but sometimes your keywords might not be, uh, or your tags might not be that good. If you have brands, it would be good, or model numbers, it would be good. If your words are more generic, then it's not going to work. Like if I went to that dog sweater post that I have on this site, and one of my keywords was, or one of my tags was sweater, that probably wouldn't be a good uh, tag keyword. Um, but this is an all or nothing uh option when it's set here in the global. So this is going to happen to all the posts that have tags. 